Well, hello everyone. It is day 23, pattern 23 of the Granny Square Challenge. And today we got this nice little snowflake to make. And yeah, that's what we got. I'm using an off-white, which is Red Heart Soft. And then I'm going to use a different blue on this one for the background. It's, I love this yarn, metallic, and the color is called Royalty. So we're going to have a royal snowflake. So let's get started. I'm going to use the off-white to begin with, and you're going to make a magic circle. and then chain three and you want to make 15 double crochets into the circle to give you a total of 16 and isn't that how it goes turn the camera on and then the yarn's going to start fighting you So that's two, that's three. So your chain three counted as a double crochet. You're gonna put 15 more into the circle for a total of 16, and I will meet you back when I get my 16 completed. Okay, so I have 16, tightening up my center of my circle. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of your chain three. So you should look like this. Then we're going to chain up three. That counts as a double crochet. And in that same stitch, you're going to put another double crochet. And for round two, you're going to work two double crochets into each crochet, double crochet from the previous round. So you should end up with a total of 32 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I've counted to verify. I have my 32 stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into my chain three. So round three is interesting. So you're going to slip stitch your way over so that you end up in between the, the sets of two. So like you have two stitches in the previous rows double crochet, you want to work in the spaces in between. Okay? So we're going to chain up and do a double crochet. That gives you two. Then you're going to chain three and do two more double crochets in that same space. Then you're going to skip that one and come over after like just skip four stitches and then in between the, the sets there you're going to do two double crochets chain three and two double crochets Then skip the four stitches, one, two, three, four. And right here in the in-between or the void, we're going to do two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets. 
and you're going to repeat that all the way around. Just make sure that you are working in between. So skip four stitches, come over to the in between, and start your next round of double crochets. Okay, so when you make it around, you should just have to skip the four and reach over and slip stitch to the top of your chain three. And you should look like this. Okay, so now we want to slip stitch over so that we're working into our chain three spaces. There, chain three. And you're gonna do three more double crochets. That's one, two, and three, so that gives me a total of four. Chain two, and do four more double crochets in that same chain space. Two, three, and four. Then we're going to reach over to the next chain three space and do four double crochets. Chain two, do four more in that same chain space. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way around. Four double crochet, chain two, four double crochet in each one of these chain three spaces. And I'll meet you back when I get mine done. Okay, when you make it around to the other side, you're going to slip stitch to the top. And fasten off. We are ready to change colors. Okay, so you should look something like that. Doesn't look... Uh, too much like a snowflake yet, but this next round is going to do it for us. So, alright, so for this round, you're going to pick any peak to start in, and you're going to do into the chain two space, you're going to do a single crochet. A slip stitch and a single crochet. You're going to do a half double and you're going to work in between the post, not in the stitches. A half double. Next in between, a double. Next in between, a double. Skip this and do a double in the next in between. And another double. Say double. Now we're in a corner. This next peak here becomes a corner, so it's two double crochets. One, two, chain three and do two more. It's one, two. Then we're going to, in between, do a double. A double in the next one. Double in the next one. Skipping this. So we have one, two, three doubles. This is four, 
five. And then in the last one, it's a half double. That's six. Then in the chain space, you do a single, a slip stitch, and then another single. Hmm. Slip stitch might as well be a chain stitch. Okay, so you should be looking something like this so far. And we're going to work our way down. We're going to do a half double. A double. Another double, that's two. Another double, that's three. We skipped over this. Another double, that's four. Another double, that's five. We're at a corner, so we do two doubles, chain three, and two more doubles. And we're going to do five doubles going in between the spaces, so that's one. two, three, skipping this, four, five, half double, single, chain, single, half double, then we want one, two, three, four, five doubles, one, two, three, four, five, and we're at a corner, so it's two doubles, it's one, two, chain three, and two more doubles, it's one, two, and then it's double, double, always working between the posts, double, skipping that, double, double. On the last one it's a half double. Then we go sing oops, single, chain, single. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. By working in between the posts, that's what gives you the little uh, spiky, flaky look over along the edges there. So we're going to keep going. So now we're working down. We start with a half double, five doubles in between the posts. That's one, two, skipping that, three, four, five. We've made it to a corner, so it's two doubles. Chain three, two doubles, then it's five doubles, it's one, two, three, skipping that. four, five, half double, and we're going to slip stitch into our 
starting single crochet. And that's what it looks like. Doesn't look very square at all, does it? So the next round, you get to play some games with it to get it squared up, unless of course you like it shaped all wonky. Okay, so we slip stitched, I'm going to chain one and do a single in that same space. Then I'm going to do a single in my chain, single in the single, then we're going to do a half double, a half double, another half double, so that was three singles, three half doubles, now we're going to go and do some doubles, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're in the corner, we're going to do two doubles. One, two, chain two, two more doubles, one, and two. Okay, so double, one, two, three, four, five doubles, three half doubles, oops, and we're going to do three singles, one, two, and three, three half doubles, one, two, three, three doubles, or excuse me, five doubles, one, two, three, four, and five. That's how we're looking. Let me unwind some more yarn. Okay, we're at the corner, so it's two doubles. Chain two, two doubles. Five doubles in one double in the next five stitches, so that was one, two, three, four, and five. Three half doubles, that's one. two, three, now three singles, one, two, and three, three half doubles, it's one, two, 
three, five doubles, one, two, three, four, and five. In the corner, it's going to be two doubles, chain two, two doubles, and then working your way across, it's five doubles, three half doubles, three singles, three half doubles, five doubles, and back to another corner. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And I know I took a while to get there and got all tongue-tied and twisted and everything, but you know how it goes sometimes. You just wash your tongue and can't do a thing with it. So I'll meet you back when I get finished. Okay, when you've made it all the way around, you'll slip stitch to your first single crochet. And you can fasten off and end here on this round, or you could go around again with the blue. And I would do single crochets, and then in these little dips right here, put a half double crochet. Like one half double crochet, singles, half double crochet, and then singles. And that should get you pretty straight. Or you could just, you know, go the traditional route and block your square. But that is pretty. I like that. I actually like it better than with the light blue. The dark blue looks more like a night sky with the snowflake in it. So that is today's Granny Square, day 23, pattern 23. And if you liked this tutorial, I have plenty more where these came from. All you have to do is click on that link right there in that corner, and that will take you to another great tutorial. Thanks so much.